All right, so most recently, we just had an IRS offer and compromise get rejected. Not something I'm super stoked about, but nonetheless, it's reality. And I want to make sure that you learn from our mistakes and get a more favorable offer when you submit yours. My name is Anthony Fontana. Check it out. All right, so in short, the taxpayer didn't make his current tax payments. What happened is, is that we filed an offer Right, We had to wait until the examiner got assigned for us to continue working this thing. But in the meantime, a tax deadline came and a tax return was due. So the taxpayer went ahead and filed the tax return himself, or I come to find out that he did, um, because the examiner, when they did get assigned, reached out to me and asked, hey, where's the 2021 tax return? I said, you know, taxpayer filed it you know, what happened? He's like, well, I don't see it in our records. You know, I went ahead, double check. Yep. It's not on there. Reach out taxpayer. He says, Hey, I mailed it in. Well, unfortunately he didn't do it the proper way by, you know, certified mailing it with a return receipt. So he had no proof that he actually mailed this thing in. Well, anyways, um, the tax return that got prepared by himself did have a balance on there. Well, this tax return was not included in our offer. So he had to have made that payment for that tax return. In addition, so that was a 2021 tax return. In addition to that, he had to have made payments on his 2022 current taxes, which he had not made at that time either. So he had a couple balances that he had needed to pay before the examiner would consider this offer. Now, I went ahead and told him, hey, we got to make these payments. And actually, I told him this, you know, when we first started, this is kind of like what I preach to all my clients when we first get going is, hey, you know, the IRS will settle for less than you owe, but they want to make sure that you are not going to continue having this problem. And the way that they make sure that that doesn't happen is that you're paying on your current taxes. You are what we call tax compliant. Now, I have a video on this that kind of goes into more detail on what tax compliance is. Be sure to check that one out here. But again, it's, 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 it's just that, you know, we don't, want to continue essentially chasing our tail. You don't want to continue going in circles, right? So the, the IRS says, yes, we will settle on your back taxes, but you got to make sure this doesn't happen moving forward. And that's one way to make sure that it doesn't happen is that you are paying on your current taxes when they are uh, essentially examining the offer. So I told the, the client, hey, you need to make this payment here now for them to continue. And he's like, hey, I don't have the money. I can't do it. I said, man, you have a great offer. And, and I was so bummed at this time. I was so bummed because quite frankly, this, this offer was, it was, it was amazing. The guy owed 125,000 and we were selling for, I think it was like $2,800. And it was like, I thought it was a home run offer that we were going to get, but he said he couldn't make that payment. Um, and unfortunately we had to, what we call withdraw the offer. So it did get rejected. We withdrew and, um, yeah, unfortunately he still got that 125 thousand on the books right now. And, um, we got to figure out what we're going to do about that. But nonetheless, want to make sure that, you know, you don't make the same mistake. Again, main lesson here is to, if you're going to file your offer, make sure that you pay your current taxes, the taxes that are due for this year. So for filing offer for, you know, in 2022, right? We want to make sure that 2022 taxes are all kind of paid up to date. Now, this is a copy of the letter, unfortunately, that we got here recently, essentially saying, you'll see here, right, our offer for the 2800 bucks on all these years here, man, is, is being withdrawn. And again, it doesn't state the reason why, but that is the reason why is that because we aren't tax compliant. We're not paying our taxes anymore. So again, lesson to be learned here from this Example is that uh, we want to make sure that we don't continue chasing our tail. If we're going to settle our back taxes, you got to pay your taxes moving forward. Hope the video was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about back taxes. Essentially, that's what I do here. Uh, thank you so much, guys.